welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here if you are thank you so 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 much for tuning in my name is Jade Monet and today I'm doing my very first holiday makeup look I really wanted this look to be very minimal very beginner friendly glowy and natural just effortless like I'm just naturally glowing and I just throw on some lipstick in the car kind of vibe you know what I mean also before I before I get into it I do want to say that these contacts that I'm wearing are from TTDI and I have an entire review video on them if there's something that you're interested in if you'd like to get some money off of your purchase I do have a coupon code it's just Jade Monet no space in the middle so without further ado let's just get right into the video Okay guys, so I'm starting with a clear face. I have some hyperpigmentation going on. I'm gonna prime my face with my Glossier Future Dew and the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm gonna go in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. covers my acne scars really well which is why I love this foundation so much it's just the scars from popping my pimples all the time it's so bad so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our concealer. I'm using my favorite right now, which is the Smashbox Studio Skin. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this on my channel before. I love this stuff, it's so good. This is in the shade Light Medium Warm Olive. warm up my face a little bit because it does look a little bit light right now but I think it's just the lighting I use LA girl pro concealer and this is in the shade beautiful bronze so I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose Actually just gonna go back in with my concealer and just shape it a little bit more on the sides so now I'm gonna set my face but I'm gonna do it so lightly because I do like this natural sort of glow that I have going and that's the look that I'm going for I'm gonna take this fluffy smaller brush and I'm going to use my trusty Laura Mercier. Just lightly set it like right under my eye. Cause I do want to maintain the glow. I'm gonna just set it a little bit along my smile lines. I have some little small bumps like on the side of my face, so I'm just gonna cover those just because I don't want those to be shining, you know what I mean? So that's all that I'm gonna do to set my face because I'm going to keep the rest of this glow. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of bronzer. So the bronzer that I'm using is by NYX. It's just their matte bronzer and this is in the shade medium and I'm just gonna like kind of go over the areas that I contoured so I'm also going to go ahead and set the contour on my nose using the same bronzer so at this point I'm actually going to use that bronzer to create some more dimension in my eye on my eyelids because I'm not really doing any eyeshadow or anything like that but I do want to add a little bit of dimension so I'm going to use that same brush and I'm just going to kind of go from the corners like right where it meets my nose and then just sort of go outwards from there I 
Okay, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now and I'm gonna do my brows. I wanna keep my brows super natural. I'm gonna use the NYX, what is it called? Micro Brow Pencil and as you can see, the tip is like super small. And that's what we want because we wanna create those hair-like strokes. So I'm actually just going to use this to be filling in some of the gaps. I just ordered a brow laminating kit and I plan on doing that this weekend, so should I film it? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. At this point, I'm actually going to go in with my, probably my favorite, one of my favorite products of all time, like across the board, which is this Glossier Boy Brow, and this is in the shade Brown. So now I'm just going to clean them up using the same concealer that I used before, um, the Smashbox concealer, and I'm just using like a very small brush, and I only do it on the bottom. So now I'm just going to clean that up. I always clean it up using a fluffier concealer brush just to get it all blended in. I don't want any harsh lines. I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm just going to warm it up a little bit more using my bronzer, my NYX bronzer, and a fluffier eye brush. And I'm just going to sort of create a little bit more of that dimension that we might have lost. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of blush. So the blush that I use is actually what I've been using as an air. Sorry, it's like dirty and stuff. This e.l.f. blush palette and it's in the shade light. I'm going to like maybe mix these two today. On my nose. I love putting it on my nose. It just it kind of like makes you look cold. I don't know, it's weird, but I don't know, it just, it's cute. So now I'm going to like add some beauty marks and just like some of the beauty marks on my face back. I do this weird, you guys. I take my liquid um, contour and then just any sort of sharp edge and I'm just using the end of this one and just tapping it on my face like wherever I have like some beauty marks or where I want to create them I don't know if you guys can see it's like super subtle anyway okay so now let's do some highlight for highlighter I use this Maybelline master chrome and this is in the color molten gold I already have like a lot of natural glow right now and I don't want to look like the Christmas tree, you know? So I'm going to do some on my nose, just like a little bit on my nose. And then follow basically wherever you see those natural highlights. chin and then I'm going to use my finger to do my cupid's bow all right I'm going to do a little bit in the corners of my eye so I'm going to use my fingers again for that and then just a little bit more under my so now I'm actually just going to use my bronzer again. This The bronzer is, I guess, the star of the show because I'm using it for everything. But just with like my small um, eyeshadow brush and creating some shadow underneath my eye because everything is about just 
recreating the natural shadows of your face and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I think we're about done. We just have to do the mascara and lips. So for mascara, I'll be using this Marc Jacobs, um, this is called, I think it's called At Lashed, At Lashed Lifting and Volumizing Mascara. And I got this as a sample, like for having points at Sephora and oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. I'm obsessed with it. So, I mean, to each its own. Some people don't like doing the bottom lash line, but I just feel like it makes the look more complete, so I'm gonna do that. I love this mascara, y'all. Like, I'm here for it. So, judge me if you want. <laughs> I'm not that much of a lip liner person. I want to be, but I'm just simply not. I have one and I'm, I feel like it's the right thing to do, but something in me is just saying like, don't do it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna wipe off a little bit of my gloss just because this is a matte lip, so I don't want it to be, I don't wanna mess with the formula too much okay so my the lipstick of the hour and my favorite red lipstick is it's not focusing but this is the Fenty Beauty lipstick and this is in the color uncensored and this is the only red lipstick that you need in my opinion To set my face, I'm just going to use this Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray. I have so many setting sprays and most of them are like mattifying. So this is like the only one that I have that's more glowy. So that pretty much concludes the look. I'm gonna go and do something with my hair and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is pretty much the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I actually just really want to take this time to say thank you guys so, 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 so much for all of your support. My braids video is almost at 100,000 views, which is so crazy. I almost didn't even do that video. I had the idea in my head to do a braid video, but I did my braids two other times in between the thought and execution. And every single time I would just, the time would come up to do my hair, I'm like, mm. I just had so many things running through my head, like what if I can't explain it well, or what if it's hard to film, or why would anyone watch mine over like everyone else's? So I don't really know. I think what I'm trying to say is let this be like maybe an inspiration 2021. There's always gonna be an excuse not to do something and let it be a learning process. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect right away. And maybe it never will be. I think that's kind of the beauty of life, to keep striving to be better. So you gotta start somewhere, you know what I mean? So anyway, I digress, but I just wanted to thank you guys all so much for your support. Hope that all of you guys have an incredible holiday season with your family. Stay safe. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join the gang. And I will catch you guys in my next video.